George Floyd is not here. He should be here. He should be alive, but he's not. About nine days ago, the world watched Floyd utter his very last words, I can't breathe, as he pled for his life. The world heard Floyd call out for his mama and cried out, don't kill me. Today, <clears throat> I filed an amended complaint that charges, that charges former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin with murder in the second degree for the death of George Floyd. I believe the evidence available to us now supports the stronger charge of second degree murder. We've consulted with each other and we agree. Second, today arrest warrants were issued for former Minneapolis police officers uh, J.A. King, Thomas Lane, and Tu Tao. Finally, I'd like to announce that today, Tennessee County Attorney Michael Freeman and I uh, uh, filed a complaint that charges uh, police officer King, Lane, and Tao with aiding and abetting murder in the second degree of felony offense. I strongly believe that these developments are in the interest of justice for Mr. Floyd, his family, our community, and our state. The reason thoroughness is important is because every single link in the prosecutorial chain must be strong. It needs to be strong because trying this case will not be an easy thing. Winning a conviction will be hard. In fact, County Attorney Freeman is the only prosecutor in the state of Minnesota who has successfully convicted a police officer for murder. And he can tell you that it's hard. I say that uh, I say this not because we doubt our resources or our ability. In fact, we're confident in what we're doing. But history does show that there are clear challenges here. I did not allow uh, public pressure to impact our decision-making process. I was prepared to withstand whatever calls came. Uh, we made the charge, we made these decisions based on the facts that we have gathered uh, since this matter occurred uh, and made the charges based on uh, the, the, the law that we think is, applies. Let me be honest here, I mean, our country has had has under-prosecuted these matters uh, in Minnesota and throughout the country. And so I think the trust is a result of historically not holding uh, people who are public guardians uh, accountable uh, for their behavior in situations where we should have. Uh, so that, I think, is the origin of the trust problem. But we can't, we can't control the past. All we can do is take the case that we have in front of us right now and do our good faith best to bring justice to this situation, and we will. Thank you.